Well, I already knew that before then when I was in grade school. Now, I like I like the lady next door. She turned me out. So I've seen a lot of women going in and out of her house. So I, wanted, I liked it. That was the first lady that got my heart was coming out my chest. First time I kissed a girl was when I was 14. It felt good. <laughs> well, actually, it was a church friend. So it, it was sort of funny, but it was it was nice at the same time, you know? Um, with me, I think when I was a little girl, we played house. I was always the daddy. <laughs> um, I have did girls with Oscar Mayer wieners when I was little. Wow. I remember the first hump I had. That was with three sisters across the street. I won't say their names because it's a little small town. <laughs> but all three sisters, I was the daddy, and they were all the girlfriend or the mama. This started about five years old, mind you. This is about five to about eight, eight, nine, nine years old. I've been like this all my life. I played, I had high tops and a Flip Wilson doll and a bike, you know, skates. It was, I had my bike had a cross on it. It was boy toys and wagons. I liked it. Um, I finally came out to my mom when I was 24. Four months later, my mother got killed in a car accident. So my auntie told me two months after that that I killed her because I was gay. So that was, I think coming out to my mom, your parents, they know their kids. My mom already knew. I never said it to her. And, but when I came out, I thought I was in love with this woman, which was a, big mistake and I came out to my mom and my mom reacted she didn't react good and we were always good friends she called us all kind of names and but before she died it was okay my dad was always pretty cool with it so. <laughs> well when um, my mother found out she beat the heck out of me bust my head open bleeding bloody and then shipped me off to Texas in the middle of the night when I was 21, I used to take, well, not 21, 19. I used to take my cousin Robin's ID and go to all the local clubs. And I kept borrowing her ID and I kept evading, where you been, where'd you go, where are you going, you know, the whole thing. And at the time, I'm, we were going to a Cagney and Lacey rap party. And I said, I'm just going to tell her, I'm going to let her know that I'm gay and that's where I've been going, that's, how, that's where I've been using her ID. So it took me all night to get the courage, you know, it's like, Robin, I got to tell you something, but I don't know how you're going to take it. And she says, wait a minute. Did you kill anybody? Because if you killed anybody, did you tell anybody? If you didn't tell nobody, then we still okay. And I was like, no, I'm gay. She's like, we knew that. The whole family knew, and it was not a big deal. One thing about my family, they are all in the entertainment business. So it's very, you know, it's there. There is singers, actors, behind the scenes. So they're very open and very accepting of people. And that's mainly my, my Aunt Ruby is the, is the catalyst for that. So they all knew. And um, coming out to them wasn't a big deal. Um, they're very accepting of me. Never uh, shunned me at all. Well, my mom already knew, and they already figured it out. But... She said it too. She just didn't know. She just thought I was a tomboy. But the lady down the street, remember I messed with the lady next door. She watched me go in the lady house, and they know that's the gay house. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was the lady. That's okay. my mom told me. She, you know, they think I'm. They think something wrong with. Me. Lived in the house, got my brothers and sisters. I'm the youngest. Mom always had to go to work and. I just like the babysitter, you know. <laughs> you know, everybody curious, you know. But I just, I don't know. I guess because I always had a thing for women. I love women. Mm -hmm. I love them. My true friends, mm -hmm. there's, there's no difference. I'm still Carol. I'm, I'm still fun. I'm still loyal. I'm true. So I don't, I don't think they look at me any different.
At first, yes, because I, you know, I was married, like I said, and living the life as, quote unquote, you know, the happy American family. Mm -hmm. But uh, after the marriage was over, you know, I said, okay, I'm gonna be me. I just didn't feel that that sexual thing with a man. I had boyfriends and stuff, but when it came close to down to want to have sex, and then I always back out or end up breaking up with him. I like a lot of foreplay that gets me wet. I like foreplay, you know, kissing on the ears, the neck. Yeah, I like sexy women. I don't like them to be aggressive. I like. You know, I'm not like all women. It don't matter, you know. As long as she's sexy and clean and smart and do what she's supposed to do. <laughs> Beautiful, voluptuous breasts. I'm a breast girl. Beautiful eyes, kind heart, and very sassy. Um, strap on, though. No. Um... Little fingers and tongues, yeah, I could deal with it, but uh, I can't handle that. Well, I don't wear it every day, it's just during sex when my partner wants it. If they don't want it, then I don't wear it. If they do, then I'll put it on, and that's the way it goes. Some studs will uh, tape their breasts down so that they don't show their breasts so much. Um, and don't want you to touch them there. Uh, some are don't want you to go down on them. Uh, don't want to be penetrated, um, fingers or straps, um, uh, definitely no anal sex. Hmm. So um, that's what I would, I've heard that are restrictions. Uh, not, not really, she wants to sort of wait until we officially get married and one week is I'm ready and then the next week is it's not what I have. Mm -hmm. You know, relationship. Well, the relationship I was in, they were straight before, and that was their preference. So I learned to do that in my late 20s. Um, that's not the only form or the way I, I have sex. I'm very open sexually. I don't have restrictions. Where a lot of studs are aggressive, have restrictions. It look like I was playing with him, but I don't wear a bra because um, my wife said I don't have any and I don't need to wear one. So I go wear I wear um, little shirts underneath in my regular shirt, and I'm gone. I don't even wear it. You can notice unless it get cold and then it starts saying hello. <laughs> so, but hey, this is what I do. I don't tape them down. Don't tie them down. I don't have enough to flatten down. It might hurt if I do. Keep it going. Get ready. I'm going to pose this up. Kind of little bowls flatten down a little bit. Because these clothes are made for men, so I got to kind of push that down, make it seem like I have one, but I don't. So kind of flatten it down some. Pick it up, make it look nice, and I'm ready to go to go out. I'm ready. See if my baby ready. We all bought in friendships. Uh, we all we all know how it took us a long time to learn how to treat each other, to know what makes each other mount. We know with all of them, we have to treat each other different. Tanya. She is the boy Tanya, but she is the biggest brat out of all of us. We have to treat her like she is definitely our little sister and our little brother, whatever she want to be. But if something was out there, you know that's the one you want with her. Um, it's weird that Pam is the youngest, but she's probably more settled than any of us. So not a matter of settled that she keeps it calm. She knows how to stay under control, but actually, she's the baby. Me, I will be by myself till I meet that special woman. It's certain stuff that I'm not, that I that I took in the past, I'm not gonna take. 
And regardless to women said it's certain stuff that I'm not I'm not a perfect person, but I got a lot to give and you gotta be a special person to get it. I ain't just giving it to anybody. I used to sing the song, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you with. Well, that one I'm with is myself, so that's the only person I'm going to love right now. Until I could be with that person that I truly love, I will love myself. So that was a big step for me. Who I got now, I done made a lot of mistakes. Uh, that's my dude, that's my partner, that's my man. I know a lot of y'all just won't understand. That's my people, that's my dog, that's my boy. Just saying that give me so much joy. You ever had a friend you can call anytime? Even in the late night hours, he don't mind. Who can make you feel better than you ever felt? One who will never leave you standing by yourself. If you have faith small as a mustard seed, the friend that I'm talking about to give you what you need. That's my dude, that's my partner, that's my man. I know a lot of y'all just won't understand. That's my people, that's my dog, that's my boy.